guys, welcome back to 114 Rides. We're doing our part two on our Volvo 850 Turbo maintenance and repairs. We got a new set of overload springs, less joffers, and these are made in Sweden. This is a product from FCP, um, excellent price on it. I wanted to try out the overload springs like I was saying before we go camping and uh, do a lot of fishing and surf trips and we load the car down pretty heavy duty <clears throat> and I've been getting a lot of scraping lately um, on the inner fender and the sidewall of my tire. So we'll go outside, we're going to go take a look at the stock ride height as it is. Um, I believe the rear springs are shot, the existing ones. Um, typically coil springs don't go bad on vehicles. Uh, I hear on the 850s they do. Alright, so let's see where we're sitting at. Ground level. Get this leveled up here. About 25 and a half inches on the passenger side. And we are sitting at exactly the same on the driver's side. All right, let's get these springs in, and uh, we'll take a look at the difference and see what the ride quality is. Up. You can see I have my jack stand underneath my delta link, and then I have the jack over there at the jack point, just for safety. Now, you have one 18 mil nut that needs to come off of the shock absorber to start, and then underneath here, the spring seat, I believe that's a 12, and I'll confirm that once we actually get it off. In addition, you can see that we also replaced some bushings back here. The shocks are brand, brand new. And um, we're still getting a little vibration and, like I said, some scraping. So hopefully, once we replace these springs with the overloads, um, we'll address some, uh, you know, small issues um, that we have with the vehicle, especially when we're driving at highway speed. I use my jack to support the uh, axle assembly on this side. I was able to pop off the shock. Okay, we let it sag. Spring popped right out, no problem. We unscrewed this from the back. Uh, I used the 16 millimeter long socket for the uh, spring retainer. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw a new spring in. Get this back together. So just a side-by-side -side comparison of the new HD spring versus the uh, original OEM. Uh, they look similar in size. The only difference I can see is that this bottom coil right here, where it seats into the bottom of the axle, is a little bit more compressed than this one. But other than that, identical. The spring is installed. You guys have to make sure that it's seated properly in your bump stop combination um, retainer up here. Uh, also too, um, for this bottom retainer, I left it loose for now just so I can get the shock hooked up. I'm going to tighten this down. This will maintain height on this and then I'll be able to cinch this um, bottom retainer down for the last step. The jack is mounted back in place. Remove the, um, the jack from underneath the, the bottom spring seat. What we're going to do is we're going to tighten up the 16 millimeter now. And this should just settle right in place. All right, let's get this car on the ground and let's see what the ride height difference is. And uh, we'll take it for a test drive. Ride height on the passenger side was 25 and a half. It looks like we're sitting right around 25 and 7 eighths. So that's a 3 eighths difference in ride height. It's a little bit higher than it was. But we're hoping to eliminate any of our scraping issues we have. We'll get the other side on and uh, we'll take this for a ride. All right, let's see how she goes. New radiator, new springs. Take it for a little test drive. So far, so good. The car is still getting up to operating temperature. Take it easy. Mm 
beautiful Saturday afternoon. Perfect for doing some work on the car. We got a football game tonight. So uh, it turned out to be a real nice weekend. I'm relaxing. And uh, we'll get this car rocking. Be in much better shape. All right, so this is the final stance of the car. Um, a little bit higher than before. Not much difference. I'm not too concerned with getting it real low. Uh, I just want it to operate real well when we got a load on it. Um, no leaks with the new radiator. Everything looks smooth. Car's running good. Crank up the boost a little bit. It's getting a little cooler out here in Jersey. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And uh, subscribe. We'll be coming up with some new content on uh, on a number of the vehicles, including the S4, and we might even have a Mazda Speed Protege uh, coming onto the channel. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. See you again.